what is going on guys in this video we are going to cover complete roadmap of android application from beginner to expert if you are just starting your journey in android application or if you are already into it this video is for you from mastering the basics of kotlin to conquer the advanced level of architectural patterns everything is there in this roadmap the most unique things of this roadmap is in every step you have to create the project i have given the list of application you have to create in every steps of roadmap you need to create those applications so without any ado let's dive into the ultimate android application development roadmap in in 2024 in this video so we will give the title android developer roadmap let's make it canvas only so first thing you have to do is choose a language choose a language so there are two official language by google to make android application that are java and kotlin so you have to select one of them so here let's say java and we have kotlin so you need to choose any one language to develop android application what i will suggest is if you already know java if you are working in java and you know the basics of java you can go with java and start building the android application but eventually you have to move to kotlin but in second case if you are learning new language if you want to learn either java or kotlin you need to go with kotlin so i will suggest go with kotlin so either java or kotlin so once you choose the language either java or kotlin you need to know fundamentals of the language in any language you need to know the fundamentals oops concept and other things let's add here fundamentals of programming let's make it small oops concept let's make it green so once you know the fundamental and basic of the programming in any case from java as well from kotlin as well for any language you need to learn this so either java or kotlin you need to know the fundamentals and oops concept so once you know the fundamentals of the language you can go with the android studio and create the project so after this we will do android studio create project you need to know how we can create project in android studio and how we can create android virtual device that is avd so that we can run our application in the android virtual device so you should learn these things you need to explore the android studio you need to create a new project and android virtual device you need to set up so in this step you have to create the project so your first application will be hello world application this will be your first project you need to run this application so that you will get to know about android studio and how to run the application in android virtual device so in this application what you need to do you need to just change the hello world text to you can write your name let's say easy tutor so in your application you will be able to edit the hello world to your name that's it so first project you have created now next step is you have to know the uis so what is the ui there are two ways to make the ui one is xml and another is jetpack compose so most of the android application till date is built on xml now new application are being built on jetpack compose so both are important it is not correct that you should only learn jetpack compose you should know xml also jetpack compose also both are important i will give both over here so here you need to learn xml ui components that are linear layout relative layout constant layout other ui component like text views edit text button image view etc so there are lots of things in ui component whatever you see in the application the button the text view the image the video all are the ui components so you need to know these things and one way is xml layout so another thing we need to learn is jetpack compose so here i will put jetpack compose component you need to learn let's say we have raw column we have text button image text field these are the components you need to learn animations etc so there are lots of ui components that we call as composable in jetpack compose so you need to know that if you want to go with xml you should learn this if you want to go with jetpack compose you should learn this i suggest you to learn both first xml and then jetpack compose so both are important now once you know all the ui components you can build a app so you have already built hello world application now what you have to build say simple notes application so this will be a simple note application where you will have the features will be take input from the user save it in in memory in a variable you can store it and also we need to have edit and delete feature so this thing you can do in this simple note application you have to take input from the user you have to save it you should be able to edit it and you should be able to delete it in this way you will learn a lot of ui components this you can do with xml as well as jetpack compose so so once you are done with the ui things now you have to move to other component let's see what are those so it will be storage so how we can store the data we have shared preferences 
which are the variables which we save to save the preference of the user. Let's say user prefer dark mode or light mode, any other preferences like language preferences, this thing we can save in shared preferences. If you want to save data from this notes app, what you have to do, you have to save it in SQLite database. We have SQLite database. Also on top of that, we have room database. This is very important. First learn SQL database, then learn your room database, which will be more easier than SQLite database. From SQLite, you will learn the database operations. So once you know this thing, now you can upgrade this notes app. Till now we were saving it in memory now what we can do you can save data in local database that means either you can save in SQLite DB or room DB in this way when user close the app and comes back notes will be there if you save in memory when user reopens the application it will be gone but if you save in local database it will be there so this feature you have to implement in this note application so you'll get to know about storage so this will be linked with this so once you know the storage you have implemented in this notes application now what we need to learn is app components so there are some app components in android you can say app components those are activity life cycle we have on start on create on pause on stop on resume on destroy there are lots of life cycle methods you need to know that we have fragments we can use fragments in our application with single activity we have intent to pass the value either within the application or with other applications we have navigation content provider permissions etc so these are the app component you need to learn. Once you learn this, what you can do, you can create another application that will be. You can create file manager app so that you can access the external storage and access all the contents of the external storage. You can make music player application so that you can access the songs and you can play that. And you can make some multi-fragment application, any application. So you can practice these things. So you have to create the app in every step. So till now we have already created one application, two application three application let's say and four application so you are already used to about android application how to create application how to play with app components everything you know now important thing is api integration till now we are using local database we are getting the data from our local storage but we should get the data from api so you need to learn api integration api integration this is very important we have data in the backend api we have to connect our application to the backend so how to do that we have some library we have ok http we have volley library the most important and popular is retrofit this is very nice it supports the mbvm architecture as well so retrofit you need to learn anyhow so when you are integrating the api you need to learn async programming so when you are doing api calls it will take time to get the data so you need to learn async programming in kotlin we have kotlin coroutines this is very important you need to learn live data so that when data changes it will immediately reflect in the ui you need to learn workflow as well same concept so these things you need to learn for API integration so that you can consume data from backend API, you can communicate with the backend API with asynchronous programming. So while learning this, you can again create the application that will be, let's say dictionary app, weather app, movie app, using free API. We have free API over the internet for dictionary, weather, movie app, any app you can make, it should communicate with the APIs. So here use, use free API for this application. I will suggest, I will suggest you to use retrofit to communicate with the API. So from this, you have to make at least two applications. That is mandatory. Now you know how to communicate with the API. Now you need to learn how to integrate backend as a service. So we have backend as a service like Firebase, AppRite. There are lots of other backend as a service that we can implement in Android. Firebase is more popular because it provides lots of features and it is by Google. So you need to learn that how to integrate Firebase. So here after this step, what we will do, we'll write bash. So we can use Firebase or we have Another option is AppRite also. Here both provides authentication, both provide storage, both provide database also. So you need to learn this, how to do authentication, how to log in with Google, how to log in with Facebook, or how to log in with phone number, OTP. Every service is provided by Firebase and AppRite. You can use those. You can use FCM notification to send the notification to the user. You can use database, you can use storage to store the files. So to integrate this thing, we have library and documentation provided by both Firebase and AppRite. You can use those. And in this step also, you have to create the application. So what application you need to create? You can upgrade your notes application to store the data in the Firebase. So notes app, quiz application, so that it will fetch all the questions from the Firebase directly. You can make chat application using real-time database. You can make music streaming application. You can store all the songs in storage, set the data in database and get in the mobile application. So once you build this application, you will get to know how Firebase work, how authentication work, storage database, everything you will get to know. So for this, so for this use Firestore DB to store notes and quiz data, use storage to store music, use real time database, chat app. So this thing you need to do, then you will be used to Firebase. Now, once you know all these things, you are a very good developer. 
you can go for the job you can crack the interviews you can do anything but it is not finished yet what you need to learn after this is so for production ready apps architecture and design pattern are very important so and design patterns so what are the architecture we have mvc mvi mvp and most important is mvbm so this is the most popular one model view view model this thing you have to learn in architecture to build the production ready app and it is used mostly in the production ready application and design patterns you have to know factory design pattern we have we have observer we have builder we have singleton and we have others also these are more popular so you need to learn this thing to become an expert android developer so these are very important and what you can do you can make application notes application with mbbm pattern you can make that weather app with mbbm pattern with retrofit you can make dictionary app with mbbm pattern and retrofit also you can make chat app with mbbm pattern with firebase so these you can make so for building this three to four application you can use different architecture i'll suggest you to use mbbm you will get to know everything so for this i will write use different different design pattern and architecture focus on mvvm so you need to focus on mvvm that is very important the application will be scalable with this architecture and design pattern but you have one more thing that is dependency injection so dependency injection is also you need to know so we have different library for di that are dagger we have hilt we have coin you can use any of them you can learn all of three but i will suggest you to use the hilt the hilt is built on top of daggers you will get to know both so for this you have to create the application what you need to do for the same application you can use dependency injection for this app you can upgrade this application with the dependency injection from here now you have come a long way you know everything but some more important things are remaining what are those so those things are let's say other first thing is debugging you need to learn how to detect the bugs how to use debugger and solve the bugs so this is very important second thing is testing because application are used by lots of user testing is also required other things are ad mob integration so if you want to earn money from the application you need to know ad mob integration other ad services are also there every services are similar so you need to learn them how to integrate them you need to learn how to integrate google maps this is also important to make the application like uber food delivery application and other applications and also you need to know how to release it in play store so you need to learn how we can release to play store how we can upgrade the version and again update the application so this thing you need to know as an android developer so these all are the important things you need to know but everyday technology changes everyday new things comes up so what you need to do you need to keep learning this is very important you need to keep learning you need to keep creating project so in this way you will become a complete expert android developer package you have created lots of application you have learned a lot of technologies with this roadmap so the main focus in my roadmap is creating the application in every step if you learn one thing create the application for that from starting with hello world application notes application you have to create lots of application in each step to learn if you read the documentation watch the videos but don't create the application that is not beneficial at all you will forget everything so in every step you need to create the application that will be the main goal of your learnings so this roadmap i will share the link with you you can access it from there if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye